Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to get started with the click dialer. Before we begin, this tutorial is an overview of the click dialer. There are numerous video tutorials on how to customize and use the click dialer. Now, let's begin. Open your click dialer. There are two ways to place a call, manually or click to call. You can enter a 10-digit phone number in the field above the call button by either typing the number in with your keyboard or using your mouse to click on the numbers on the keypad. After you've entered the phone number, click on the green call button to dial the number. The button will then change to a red hang-up button. If you prefer to use the click-to-call method to dial a phone number, there are two steps to perform to set up this feature. The first step is to click on More and click on the blue H. This is a hyperlink that allows you to highlight a phone number in any software application and the click dialer will instantly dial the number. The H on the system tray of your Windows desktop shows that it's running. It will remain running even if you close your click dialer. However, if you shut down or restart your computer, you'll need to click on the blue H again to restart the hyperlink. Click on the back button to close the window. The second step is to check the click to call box. Now you're ready to use the click to call feature. To demonstrate, I'll bring up an Excel spreadsheet. The format of the phone numbers doesn't matter because the system removes the special characters. So, highlight a phone number and notice that the click dialer is already calling the number. The green call button has changed to the red hang up button. Next, I'll go to a web page. Again, highlight a phone number and the click dialer is calling the number. The click to call feature should work with all CRMs, whether they are desktop applications or web-based. A few of them are listed here. Note, if you decide you don't want to use the click to call feature, you can stop the hyperlink by right-clicking on the H on your system tray and selecting Exit. If you have our inbound service, you can receive calls on your click dialer. Click on Answer to accept the call. If your click dialer is closed, or you don't answer the call, or you reject the call, the caller will go straight to your voicemail. The message that they leave will be sent to your email address as a WAVE audio file for you to listen to. Now, to continue with the overview. You can leave pre-recorded messages on answering machines or voicemail. This feature is the PAM, which is an abbreviation for Place a Message. You can create and use multiple PAM recordings with your click dialer. You can also personalize your message before you click whichever PAM button has the message you want to play. Another feature of the click dialer allows you to transfer calls as blind transfers or supervised transfers, as well as having three-way conference calls. You also have the ability to record a single phone conversation, or you can record all calls. Now to go over some of the other screens of the click dialer. Contacts opens a small phone book where you can enter a few of your personal contacts. Note, you cannot import contacts into this phone book. The Settings screen is where you enter your click dialer customer number and the 10-digit caller ID number you want to display when you make calls. The blue CRM Settings section is used with our Koala cloud-based CRM. If technical support asks you to update your click dialer software to the latest version, click on the Update button. History gives you quick access to the call history. The Logs button takes you to the Logs folder that contains the call history in CSV file format. Play Calls takes you to the Messages folder so you can listen to your phone conversation recordings. Help opens a pop-up window. 
You can see our contact information and hours of operation. The Video Tutorials button takes you directly to the videos I spoke of at the beginning of this tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.